munchkins and bears alike. It's me, Munchie, and welcome to another hamster haul. This is gonna be my third hamster haul, and today I'm actually shopping locally. So the two hauls before this was online, but they were privately owned online retailers. They weren't the big places like Amazon. And the pet store in general is called Denny's Pet World. Now, if you go to pet stores regularly, you'll know in your state, there is probably going to be maybe a couple privately owned pet stores that come to your mind because they are so widely talked about and or they are very exotic and have a lot of different things, different creatures, different items. So in my state of Washington, a lot of people know the store called Denny's Pet World. And I actually found a lot of very unique items there that I was looking online for and or have never seen before and wanted to try out. So another note is if you guys are enjoying the hauls, good, I'm glad, I'm very happy. And I'm terribly sorry to those people that are looking for Goodwill hauls. I used to love doing them all the time and I really liked going and finding Disney items because that was my go-to But unfortunately, I have stopped doing that I have stopped collecting Disney items because my agenda has changed and also I have too many cats in this household That like to destroy stuff so a lot of my breakables or valuables got ruined that were quite expensive And I did take that to heart because I did love these items Especially when first finding them at a Goodwill so I am cutting back on collecting anything Disney unless it was gifted to me or unless I really like it but my goodwill hauls have pretty much stopped so I like to binge watch all my old ones and that keeps me content but I hope you guys do like the hamster haul videos so let's dive right into it shall we I have <laughs> a very big paper bag so first thing is first we have tiny friends farms Hazel Hamster Tasty Mix right here. I've been wanting to try out their food mix for a long time. I do have some of their treats. I got the Yippies and I got the, oh gosh, what was the other ones? Oh, I totally forgot what they were. Oh, I forgot. But they have really cute names for their treat line. So I think that I would like to try out the Tiny Friends Farms and I will repeat a few of the ingredients guaranteed analysis on here. So it says crude protein minimum 16%, that's good. Crude fat, 4%, crude fiber, 8%. And they have a bunch of vitamins in here like vitamin A, vitamin D3, and vitamin E. So hopefully my hamsters do like this. I don't know what it exactly looks like, but they do have kind of what it should look like on the outside. And it looks like it does have a mixture of different types of, I want to call it hamster kibble. Because it does, it kind of looks like hamster kibble and or hamster cereal. So it looks like they might be of small size, but I'm not so sure. I like to feed my dwarfs a smaller size seed mix uh, just because they do not like the bigger seeds and the bigger mix. They always leave really big pieces in their bowl and they don't like them. So hopefully my dwarf hamsters really like this because I would love to get more. It is in a two pound bag and usually you find better deals like a 2.5 plus bag. And this one was, you know, roughly the same amount as a bigger bag of a competitor. But Tiny Friends Farms is kind of hard to find here in the United States because like I said before, it's a UK brand. So very happy to get that. And speaking of Tiny Friends Farms, I got the treats, munchers, scrummies, chippies, and fruities. Now all of these, even though they have different pictures of different animals on them, can be consumed by hamsters. On the side, it says suitable for all rabbits, guinea pigs, hamsters, chinchillas, gerbils, mice, and rats. So all of these are safe to eat for different species of small animals. But I'm really happy for the chippies because I feel like the chippies would be really good for my Syrian hamsters. I think they'll like that. Um, I feel like the fruities would benefit for my dwarf hamsters. The munchers, probably my Syrians and dwarfs will like this. This is kind of me just guessing to see which hamsters will like what. And then, of course, the scrummies. Scrummies? Scrummies. Scr that sounds kind of weird. Am I saying this right or am I having a brain fart? Scrummies. Scrummies? Hey, would you like to try a scrummy? <laughs> Sounds kind of weird. I'm, I'm probably saying this wrong. I don't know why my brain is looking at it and going scrummies. So yay, it's like I'm collecting them all. They have in total for their treat line, six different treats, which of course I have two of the other treats dedicated to hamsters. 
but these guys I'm very excited to try out. Especially since, look at the packaging, they're so colorful. I mean, it is kind of for these ones, a shade of orange and red, which is not that exciting. And then we also have the greens for the hamsters, and then we've got the blue for get the guinea pig, but like, they are so cute when you look at them. All right, I love them. All right, so I got three chew toys here. I decided to go for some bigger ones just because I feel like my Syrian hamsters will go, ooh, interesting item, quite big, must chew on to find out what it is. I, I'm kind of trying to get into their heads to see what they might like, but let's try this one first. Atomic Nutball, Nawsome Playtime Chew Toy, Nawsome. So it looks like the chew toy itself is like an atom. Maybe that's why it says Atomic Nutball. <laughs> because it's an atom. But anyways, there is a ball inside the atom and hopefully the hamsters will go for it, chew on it, and get the ball out. Because I really want them to have more puzzle type toys because I feel like they would benefit from them the most because they just wanna get whatever in the middle. And if you guys didn't know, there is a hole within the ball here, so you possibly could put a treat in there, trying to get them to go at it. At first I thought that, oh no, they're just gonna chew at it and get the treat inside, but I think some of these two toys do have holes in them and I think we should be stuffing at least some sort of treat in there for them to get at. So I'm gonna see if one of my little Syrians likes this because this is kind of too big for a dwarf hamster, but you never know. Next, I've never seen this from KT before. And of course, again, it's a puzzle. It's called Chew and Cube Toy. And of course, there's that pattern of having a ball inside some sort of device, but it's supposed to be a puzzle and it looks pretty sturdy too. I like it. I hope they like this because this looks very interesting and it has black corners right here. And of course they have the ball inside with the little hole inside the ball if you could even put any treats in there. I think I possibly could put a treat in there. The hole seems big enough. That looks kind of weird on camera. All right, I'm saying the thing down here. <laughs> but I'm gonna have them try it out. And then I've never seen this product from Critterware. It's called Wood in Cecil Ball. Flip and Toss Wood Chew. Now, usually when you hear flip and toss, you think of like guinea pigs or rabbits because they like to flip their toys around, they like to play around, but it also had a picture of a hamster on it. So I was like, okay, maybe my hamster will like to gnaw on this because it's interesting. It's big, it's chunky. Maybe they like chunky toys. I don't know. I was thinking of my Syrians for this haul. I know I have dwarf hamsters, but there's a lot of stuff out there for dwarves already. So it's not as interesting because I've seen it all. But when it comes to Syrian items, it's hardly ever out there. So seeing something like this, I always think of like, ooh, Syrian. Grab. But it says chew toy for rabbits, guinea pigs, chinchillas, pet rats, hamsters, mice, and gerbils. So hopefully this is gonna be fun for my Syrian hamsters. All right, everybody, you have seen the food, the treats, the toys. Now what about the cage accessories? And this is gonna be the last item in this haul, but you guys have already seen this item. I was pleasantly surprised to see in a privately owned pet store, a KT 10 inch silent spinner. I was very happy. Now I just wanna let you guys know, I did buy the 10 inch silent spinner originally from Pickles Pet Shop. And Pickles made an announcement that she no longer is gonna be selling them until they fix them because there was just so many flaws with them. The one I got definitely did have a flaw, unfortunately, but I still like using it and it's still functioning to this day, even though she removed them and said that she's not gonna recommend them. I actually, so far, have really liked them. And when I saw this one, I'm like, ooh, I'm going to see if this one will work because my other one looks like it may fall apart eventually, but I have my fattest hamster on it right now and I am going to test that out to see if it does break. And I bought this just in case, but I also bought this just in case that one does still work and then I have this one for a backup hammy if I ever go and rescue some more Syrian hamsters in the future because female Syrians are so big so having a big wheel for their big needs is a must especially since all I have left are nine inch and eight inch wheels which is great but for like juvie female Syrian hamsters or male Syrian hamsters. Not really big female Syrian hamsters. Now for this one, if you guys notice, it doesn't look as bad as the other one I was sent by Pickles Pet Shop. And of course, it's Katie's fault, not Pickles. Just like, you know, they sent her defective wheels and it really sucks. But this one right here, when I spin it, doesn't have any noise. There's the occasional scratching 
but you hardly hear it. And it doesn't look like it's going to fall apart. It actually feels pretty sturdy, and if I look at it from the top, it's completely straight. It's not where the other one was, where it felt like it was kind of twisted. This one looks completely straight from eyesight looking down. So I'm actually very happy and excited to be putting this in a cage very soon. And I still recommend it. You just gotta, you know, find these wheels in person and see if the wheel itself is worth purchasing. But as you probably see from the sticker, I did pay $21.99, which is a little bit more than what I could have paid for for Pickles Pet Shop. But nonetheless, it was a privately owned pet store. And I do like supporting them versus supporting big chain pet stores like Pick Over Pet Smart. So there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this hamster haul from Denny's Pet World. And if you did, hit like to show your support. Comment down below with anything you'd like to say about this haul and or about the KT Silent Spinner 10 inch because if you own it, I would like to hear your thoughts about it. And if you are new here and would like to be a part of the Munchkin family, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next hamster haul video or just pet haul video in general. Yeah. Bye bye.